do that. Huh? Hey. What's up? We're going riding. Okay. When? Yeah. Right now. Where are you going? I don't know man, it's far. It was indeed quite far. I always notice that after watching mountain bike videos, I find myself thinking, that doesn't look that hard. And after all the initial excitement, and I'm faced with something a little bit out of my league, I get scared. You can tell by how many times I've run up the lip for this double, but there comes a point when you are presented with your fears so many times that you finally decide to break through them. Unfortunately, today is not that day for me. But this isn't to say that the day was all bad. Eric overcame a section of trail that day that had been tormenting him for months now. You might recognize this section from this clip. <laughs> oh, oh God! Yeah! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Holy sh! Oh my fucking God! <gasps> You're making me look bad. <laughs> Holy <laughs> You finally did it! So what's holding us back? The fear of getting hurt, I'd say, is pretty obvious. Your brain likes to think of the biggest worst case scenario possible, which in reality is not very likely. But you can't blame yourself because you're human and you should be feeling that way when you're presented with pretty much anything that brings you fear. So how do you overcome it? Well, here's what I do. I get off the bike and take a good look at it to find the best line that will yield the highest rate for success. Now to be fair, when you get off your bike to look at a feature, it almost always looks much worse when you're standing on it, so try not to look at it too long, because the more time you spend looking at it, the more it gets in your head and the more you mess up. I then remind myself of my skill level. Is this totally out of the realm of possibility for me? Have I done features similar to this before? Lastly, if you're going to do it, commit to it. <sighs> Yo, yeah, that was dope. I want to do that again. The last thing you want is to not have enough speed for a gap because you are not fully committed. Oh! So what are the steps? Find the line, remember your skill, and commit. Easier said than done, right? Now you just have to overcome your nerves. And that takes time. Overcoming bigger and more technical features is the only way to progress. Everything takes practice and unfortunately there's no skipping. The process may be quicker or slower for each rider, but everyone goes through it. You'd be surprised. More often than not, you'll be just fine. Oh! Remember that gap from earlier? You got it, girl. Mm, yeah. Oh, don't do that. Mm. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> I want to do it again. Finally got that out of my system. After clearing that double which had been tormenting me for weeks, I felt really good and decided to see what else I could conquer. That is
Yes! <laughs> <laughs> that was insane. <laughs> that jump was significantly bigger with much higher consequence than the one that bugged me for three weeks. By this point, I was really able to be in tune with myself and my riding. I felt comfortable on my bike and I instantly felt my confidence and ability jump higher than it's ever been. There's one last gap Eric and I are going to check out and it is hands down the furthest gap I have ever seen in person. Let's get it, man. Dude, fuck it, yeah. Let's get it, dude. Thanks for doing that for me. You waited for me a bunch of Thank you. I'm glad you waited for me too. Of course, dude. Oh, wait, Getting past your mental barrier is half the battle. Developing your skills is the other. I also think one of the most overlooked things is how your bike is set up. If your bike isn't set up for the type of riding you're doing, you might end up pretty hurt. I'd spend countless hours researching and tweaking my suspension so it would perform properly for what I was doing. It was a painstaking process, but one that is worthwhile and will leave you smarter and more importantly, in one piece. Thank you for watching this video and I hope it inspires you to push your limits and feel what it's like to get past your mental and physical barriers and achieve what you didn't think was possible for you. Thank you.